My name's Dan Poston. I'm the agronomy research manager for the Southern United States with DuPont Pioneer. Well, if you ask me one factor that is perhaps limiting high yield soybeans more than any other factor in the Southern US, I'm gonna tell you baseline fertility. Growers simply do not understand the amount of nutrients required to grow high yield crops, especially crops that exceed 80 bushels per acre and that trend is consistent regardless of where you go in the southern U.S. or the Midwest is we consistently are not fertilizing for the levels that we want to achieve. Progressive high yield soybean growers tend to utilize a build and maintain fertility approach where they build their nutrient levels to a high or very high level and then attempt to keep those levels there by replacing the amount of fertility that the crop removed. 100 bushel per acre soybeans, for example, during early pod development can utilize as much as 10 pounds of potassium per acre per day. And they can do that for more than 15 days in sequence. So in essence, a 100 bushel per acre soybean crop actually needs to take up over 150 pounds of potassium in a 15 day window to achieve that yield. So we need to rethink our fertility practices, we need to think about when we are applying our fertility, how we're applying our fertility, and when the plant needs that given nutrient. If you want to grow 100 bushel per acre beans, you've simply got to fertilize for 100 bushel per acre beans.